good for you, just sort of like the difference between junk food and good healthy food, you're going to see insects being more active when they have healthy, good protein rich food. Oxygen levels. So with oxygen levels, just like um, if you can't breathe, you can't grow. So if an insect is trapped in a bag or trapped in a glass or something like that, um, you'll see that the insect is not going to live for very long. But if an insect has lots of nice uh, oxygen, then that insect can grow a little bit quicker and it'll be more active on the body. And then the day length or the season. So um, in the wintertime we have shorter days and in the summertime we have longer days. And so we're going to see insects being a little bit more active during the summer months than in the winter months. They're also going to follow a common colonization sequence. So what that means is insects are going to come to a body and start uh, living and breathing and surviving on this body in a certain set sequence. So we start out with flies. Flies are going to be the first thing that we see on a corpse, arriving on a corpse. And that's because they're going to